dolls, my name is Bethany Herway and I'm the Glamorous Housewife. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a little video on my big confession, which is I had a very, very messy, disorganized basement. Um, I know my blog seems like my whole life is perfect, but I'm actually a very messy person. So I wanted to show it to you guys, basically to shame myself into cleaning it up. And the good news is it worked. I did organize it, I did clean it up for the most part, and then I never bothered to do a video showing you all that I had accomplished. So that's what this video is. I'm gonna take you back into my basement and I got rid of stuff. We had like 10 bags worth of garbage or something like that, and I organized and really got the whole thing under control. So I think you ladies will be very thrilled to see what I've done. So come with me and I'm gonna show you my new organized basement. Okay, here we are in my basement and these are the stairs that go down. And here we go. Now I do have a few things left. Here's our Hawaiian print. But if you notice, there are no Halloween decorations. It is a nice, beautiful, empty hallway, which I'm very happy with. All right, now come down here. Now, as I mentioned, it's not perfect. I have this ginormous pile of books that are all my old costume design books that I just don't really have room for and I don't use them anymore. So these are gonna be sent to my alma mater, which is Boston University. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So this is one of my big projects that I've got to do. Now, if you come in here, oh, yeah, check this out. This is what I call my craft room. So as you can see, there is a desk in here and it is mostly cleaned off right here. In the back over here is uh, where I keep all of my wrapping paper. I don't really have that big of a supply. I'm, I like putting things in bags more. And right here is a project where I've gotten a whole lot of Etsy art and, I, and frames. I just need to actually sit down, frame it, and hang it. So that's one of the projects I need to work on. Now, swinging around here, you can see my shelves. I've got fabric up here, a bunch of photo boxes. Those are all photo boxes, storage. And here we've got just some books that I like to keep in my, you know, craft room, things that I use, and a drawer with more photos in it. And the cool thing about this is I can shut the door and look how neat it looks. Not messy at all. The next one has more of my crafting supplies. All of that stuff is full of crafting supplies, especially this shelf, which holds everything that I use the most often. So it's easy to get to. And this holds stuff that isn't that cute, that was harder to kind of control. But again, I shut the door and there you go, you can see the whole thing, top to bottom. Now this holds all of my scrapbooking stuff. Um, all those are scrapbooking papers, which I use to decoupage now. It's come in really handy, I got it at Ikea. This is just a cute little shelf that my husband put up. Um, it doesn't hold much weight, so I use it right now just as display to make things pretty. Those are vintage, um, game boards that I had bought to do a project with but just decided to leave them here instead. Now if you swing around here you will see this is what I call my wrapping paper table or my gift table and this is where a lot of organization happened. Those are all flowers um, that I use for my hair pieces and sometimes I put flowers on my shoes. But I want to show you inside Okay, here we go. This is where I keep all the bags and some of the ribbons that I use when wrapping. And the next 
thing. It's, um, I use a lot of yarn and raffia and ribbon um, and all my vintage wrapping paper goes in here, which I use a lot of the time. And then the thing I'm most proud of, oh, I need to show you, this is not what I'm most proud of, but this is my new Hanukkah Mermaid, which I think is fabulous. And there's literally no other place in the basement to keep her. So she's, she stays behind the door. She'll be put out next to Hanukkah. So here, I just wanted to show you my drawers. Um, I went to, where did I go? I went to the container store and bought all of these kind of plastic containers. They're loose so I can hold different things. And this holds everything, more ribbon and tags and pens and things I need for gift wrapping. I use the flowers there for putting in on top of gift packages, greeting cards there, that sort of thing. The next drawer, I had wrapped something the other day, it just holds tissue paper. I tend to use a lot of tissue paper, so that's all that this drawer holds. And last but not least, this is my sewing drawer. I don't do much sewing, um, but if I did, I would have a whole drawer dedicated to it. And there it is. So that is the craft room. Now I have two more places to show you. They should go a lot faster. So here, when we come out, you remember the laundry room, which is actually being used as we speak. I had to turn off the dryer to make this video, um, which is why it's on the messy side, but it's because it's always being used. I didn't judge it for this video. I want to show you how I really live. So coming around here, is that really messy basement storage and check it out now okay i have basically over here i want to go top to bottom i moved things around and actually created a lot of space here which is where if i buy dishes i really love to buy dishes and i've been keeping myself from it because i didn't have any place to put it well now i have a place to put it so i can buy dish sets if i like or anything else and then here, all along the main part, I went to Home Depot and I got all of these um, containers that the black tops are attached, which I like. So, because then I'm not always losing lids and they're attached. Then I use these Martha Stewart um, chalkboard labels. So I can, if I decide to change it, um, I can just erase the label. And here, I'm going to show you up close. I can just erase it if I like and reuse the box for something else, which I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I have three boxes of Rosh Hashanah decorations. So this is how I store all of those decorations that you guys have seen in my blog post. And then back here, it's not really anything special. But these are the two bins I keep, um, Mason and Toby, my two sons. They've got art projects throughout the years. The bottom would be probably starting when they're two, all the way up until now. So it's organized by layer, not by anything else. It's, a, it's you know, the messy person's way of organizing. And so on. There you go, there's that wedding dress. Somebody asked if they could see the wedding dress, but it's sealed up, um, you know, like medically, hermetically sealed, so I can't open it without paying to reseal it, so I'm not gonna do that. But maybe I'll show you guys some pictures. Here is my husband's old record collection. Of course, we had no record player, but we still have his records. All right, now the last but not least is the third room, which we was, were supposed to use as sort of a shower room when we get back from surfing, um, but it isn't used for that. This is the messiest of the three still. So these are um, all pictures that need to be reframed. Um, I like the pictures, but I don't like the frames. So there's all of our surfing gear and our snowboarding gear, and then random stuff that I don't quite know what to do with. Probably we're gonna have a Goodwill run over here, these pictures are pictures that I like and should also reframe. We have a lot of reframing to do. 
Then here is stuff basically that I'm saving for um, like a garage sale. That's right in the middle, that ocean beach surf sack, all that stuff. This pile here, I didn't know what to do with. I call it the camping area. I really need to figure out a better spot. But for now, that's where it lives. And that's where we hang the wetsuits. Then coming around, let's see if I can get in here, yeah. This is a big pile in the shower of all stuff that I don't want anymore that I am saving for a garage sale. I just need to get around to it. And there you have it, my basement, all nice and clean and organized. It's been really refreshing to be able to, you know, get a gift and go down and know where the wrapping is and know where the tape is and know where the bows are and have everything ready or to be able to do a craft project and have the space to leave it out if I need to without the baby getting at it, knowing where all my supplies are. It's also really nice to see all of my um, decorations for the different holidays right there in front of me and to be able to have some extra space for stuff that I haven't even purchased yet. So there you have it, my mostly organized basement. I hope you liked it and please come back and join me for another video or you can check me out on my blog theglamoroushousewife.com. Thanks ladies.